This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar showing how to use HDR media in Apple Final Cut Pro 10. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll give you some tips on how to color grade HDR media in Final Cut. With Final Cut Pro 10.3 and later, you can choose between working in Rec. 709, that's member, that's HD, and the new wider gamut Rec. 2020 color space. Rec. 2020 provides wider color gamut than Display P3, and it's designed to support new displays that are introduced in the future. Right now, we can't make backlights much brighter than they are, which means we can't hit full HDR brightness levels, but Rec. 2020 gives us room to grow into that spec, the same thing with saturation. Rec. 2020 is also the color gamut, that means saturation, used in the Rec. 2100 standard, uh, for HDR video and in common HDR delivery profiles. So basically, Rec. 2020 future-proofs us so we can work in the Rec. 2020 space now and as technology catches up, our projects are still safe. Well, inside Final Cut 10, there are three Rec. 2020 settings. Which one should you choose? There's Rec. 2020 PQ, Rec. 2020 HLG, and just Rec. 2020 in general. Don't use Rec. 2020 in general. It's a legacy format. It's done for Final Cut 10.3 projects only. It should not be used. You want to use PQ to create an HDR movie with the Rec. 2020 color space and the PQ transfer function. This is good for Dolby Vision, HDR 10, and HDR 10 Plus mastering. So if you're going to Dolby Vision, PQ. HLG, it's, it's an HDR movie with the Rec. 2020 color space and the HLG transfer function. And what HLG is, is it's backward compatible with both standard dynamic range and high dynamic range televisions, and many broadcasters like this format. As with every delivery vehicle, check with your distributor to see which one they want. However, we have the most flexibility with PQ, and while I'll work with both, I'm going to principally be in PQ today. It's also easy to convert from PQ to HLG and back so that if you shoot HLG media and drop it into a PQ format, it's not a problem. A couple of other thoughts. Because the viewer in Final Cut Pro 10 shows only SDR luminance, it is essential, and I underline that and I bold it, to use an external HDR reference display for monitoring and grading your HDR footage. You cannot color grade HDR media on a computer display. It doesn't have the dynamic range and you're going to be making mistakes. Today, you connect this display to your Mac using a Thunderbolt video output device, for example, an AJA IO 4K. But that's a $2,000 connection box because the technology is non-trivial. Also, when you're editing HDR media, it means you ignore what it looks like on your computer screen and trust what it looks like on your HDR screen. You can't color grade HDR on a computer screen. Now, I'll show you how it works, and I'll give you some good-looking images, but that doesn't mean they're good-looking HDR images. I'm showing you how the process works. This is why the upcoming HDR reference monitor from Apple is so important. It not only gives us a new low price because HDR monitors today are in the ten to twenty thousand dollar category, but it also gives us a direct Thunderbolt connection. So the Thunderbolt and the monitor for forty nine hundred dollars is a new low in pricing for HDR reference monitors. The average computer user has no need for this, but as we shift more and more of our work to HDR, this new low priced monitor becomes increasingly important. When you grade HDR but finish in SDR, there is a major compromise between a high dynamic range video and standard dynamic range video. So the correct method is first do your main grade, then do a trim pass. So you edit your project. Your project is now complete. Picture lock sound is done. Your very last thing before final output is you want to do a color grade. You do a color grade, say, in HDR. Let's say that's your main deliverable. If your main deliverable is SDR, do your color grade in SDR. If your main deliverable is HDR, do your color grade in HDR. So do your HDR color grade. Then duplicate the project. Take that second project and set it to a 709 and go back and trim your color grade. The two will not be the same. And as a note, 
once your client sees the HDR version, don't ever show them the SDR version because they will hate it. So be sure to show the client the one you want them to fall in love with. You're also going to be tempted in HDR to overdo your grades, but don't do that. And finally, allow at least a day to get used to HDR grading, especially before the client walks in, because you may be inclined to grade the image similarly to SDR. Believe what you see on your computer monitor, which is wrong. You have to believe what you see on the HDR monitor. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar on how to use HDR media in Apple Final Cut Pro 10. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 273. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,900 movies, hundreds of hours, on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com membership. And thanks.